you. Something that I hold. Something that I hold. Something that I hold in my hand. Something that I hold is better than money. Something that I hold is a living word of God. Ike jinaka, Ike jinaka, Ike jinaka, Kamjeka, Ike jinaka, Okare regoa, Ike jinaka, Obuku jiniki. Something that I hold, something that I hold, something that I hold in my hand, something that I hold is better than money, something that I hold is a living word of God. The thing that I'm holding on to is the Bible. My mom, the goodness, comfort that was shown up, was asked that question at her 50th birthday years, years ago. I didn't know how to talk about it. I would have found out what year was that. Very, very long time ago. She died at 82. And when they asked her, the men in just where we grew up asked, what is your secret? Ten surviving children, then eleven. No helper because you've never come to us to say you can't pay school fees, you can't do this, we are just watching you, you are there laboring, struggling, and all your children, no backyard business, nobody gave birth at home, nobody do arrange marriage, or um, Abuja marriage, go and pack her. no. Everybody married, married well, you come and call us as fathers to sit down and give them out. What is your secret? How do you make it? How are you do? We can see you. You are struggling, but what again is your secret? And she said, "Something that I hold, something that I hold, something that I hold in my hand, something that I hold is better than money. Something that I hold is the living word of God. And she said, I'm holding on to the word of God. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is better than money. The word of God is better than riches and silver. Some time back we made an exposition on Psalm 119. Please check our YouTube channel. YouTube channel under the banner of love. You see how a young man, a young man, David, penned the longest chapter in the Bible in honor of the word, the word, the word, the word. He said, the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. He said, where we shall a young man make his way pure and clean? He said, the living word. So many quotations there. Someone wrote volumes of it. Go to YouTube channel, you see the volume there. But made a lot of video clips on it. The word of God, the word of God is the key. What are you holding on to in this time of crisis, in this time of uncertainty, in this time where you don't know today from tomorrow, in this time where you can't, you are not sure of the next minute, you go to the market, you are not sure. <laughs> yeah, yes, yesterday, late yesterday, the senior pastor said, ah, he wanted to eat something again that he likes. He eats once a day. After that, he won't eat again. Just light, light. So, but he said he doesn't know. He didn't eat well. And I said, ah, please, what would you, would you like? It's okay. Let me take some light something. Could you get me some eggs? He didn't have in the house. I came out. Hmm. Come and see. Before I could even get 90, 100 naira, egg, one egg, 90, 100 naira, like that, like that. I met my nanny in one of the shops trying to buy a, a, a beans. She was just sitting there looking. Nanny, what did they happen? She said, I don't understand. <laughs> the other day, beans was 700. Now I've come to buy beans. How much is beans? 900. 950. So you can imagine a family of five, eight feeding. How will they feed? How will they feed? How will they feed? How will they survive? Begin to name the items. Begin to name the items. 
So I've come to tell you this morning that what are you holding on to? The only thing that will make you to survive, survive, is this Bible, the Word of God. When you have the Word, when you listen to the Word, when you pray the Word, when you hold on to the Word, when you believe the Word of God, the Word will make a way for you. The Word will make a way for you. Yesterday I had a conversation with someone. And it was like asking somebody else, how will you survive? How will you make it? What can you do to make it? What can, I was just listening. What can you do to survive it? What business can you start? At this age, how can you make it? I want to know. I would like to know. <laughs> and the other person just smiled. Just smiled. Say, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll get around that situation. I'll get past that situation. I'll get past it. And I begin to ponder on that situation, on that conversation. Only for me to enter my room, I on the TV. And the preacher was preaching. And he said, that thing you hold on to, the faith you hold on to, we feed you. The faith you hold on to, we feed you. Your belief will feed you. The word of God will feed you. The answering that question that was asked, how can you make it? How you will survive it? The Bible said, don't worry. I know I'll make it. I will make it. I'll make it. How can you take care of yourself? I'm concerned. How can you feed? How can you this? How can you that? Say, don't worry. <laughs> it was a perplexing question. And I was wondering, I said, this economy now, how? What can somebody do at that age? You say, want to start your life all over to get an income? How can you make it? How can you this? How can you that? I was just, with the couple with the prizes, I just went around in my neighborhood just looking for just egg and hearing how much was egg yesterday 900 naira just wondering say how can how can people make it something that i hold something you must hold something you must hold in your hand something you must hold is better than money something that you hold is a living word of god the preacher said, hold on to your God. Hold on to your faith. And when you hold on to it, your faith will feed you. Your faith will take care of you. Your faith will prosper you. That may bring me back, brings me back to my mother. Yes. The word of God that you hold. She said, hold on to the word. Hold on to the word. And when we are growing up, she will always say, hold on to the word. Hold on to the word. <laughs> she will be telling me. He said, don't go to Babalao. Don't go to our half-brothers. Don't go there. She said, there's no power there. The power is in this world. <laughs> something you must hold. Something you must hold. Something you must hold in your hand. Something you must hold is better than money. Something you must hold is a living word of God. If you hold on to the word of God, the word of God will save you. It will help you. It will bring you out of bondage. It will bring you out of problem. It will bring you out of calamity. It will give you courage. It will give you hope. It will give you strength in this time when there is no hope. You look around you, nothing, nothing. You look to the left, to the right, nothing, nothing. But this word, this word will see you through. This word will deliver you. This word will save you. This word will make a difference in your life and in my life. Something you must hold, something you must hold, something you must hold in your hand. Something you must hold is better than money. Something you must hold is the living word of God. Daddy, we thank you. We choose to hold on to your word. We choose to hold on to your word. We choose to hold on to your word. And when you hold on to God, you are holding on to his word. You will say, oh God, I hold on to you without the word. No, the word of God is God himself. John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and the word was made flesh. The place of the word cannot be overemphasized. That it will.